everyone with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Just months after announcing proposed improvements at the Kimmenbrack playing field, the Honorable Moses Kokrono, Minister for District Administration, Tourism and Transport, is delivering on his commitment to provide amenities, enabling international football matches to be played on Kimmenbrack. FIFA certified artificial turf, portable fencing, temporary bleachers, tents, flagpoles, and shelters are all part of the plans for the playing field. So far, lighting has been installed and the project is expected to be completed by June of this year. Meantime, the prison chapel at Northward Prison has been closed since August of 2012. But after major works, it's almost time to reopen the facility. The chapel was closed initially because of major mold problems. Now there's a call for local churches and others to assist in providing furniture. The prison's chaplain tells us more. It's been undergoing extensive renovations in the last several months. We're coming to the end of that now, and so we're appealing to members of the public, and I thank you for the opportunity to do that, to provide us with um, equipment for the music ministry, furniture, um, books and materials, you know, stuff like that. So, um, so far the, re the response has been tremendous, and we really appreciate that, but uh, if there's anyone else out there who would like to contribute to the work of prison ministry and and uh, prison fellowship in the in the at Northwood prison, we'd be happy to accommodate them. And the local youth act organization has another exciting event for young people on the island coming up. Paula Jackson of the committee explains. We have a couple upcoming Youth Act events. Um, we have the launch, which is this Saturday, and it's going to be at the skate park, and it starts at 2, and then it goes on till about 8. It's basically to launch the board, to get us out in the public eye, to get people to know who we are. So we tell them to come out and mingle. There's lots of prizes. We're going to have skateboard competitions. There's going to be a DJ as, DJ as well, so we're going to have a dance um, section towards the end. Um, and again, it's for us to come out and mingle with the public, to get to know the public, you know, build awareness of the board, what we're here for, what our main goals are, so that pe the public can see us and also hopefully get some involvement from the public to come on board and help us with some of our future uh, events. Youth Act is supported by a group of dedicated civil servants. Ms. Jackson explains more about the organization. We formed this um, a little over a year ago and it's where a lot of individual, like-minded in individuals came together and it's to help our youth and educate them and you know some of the challenges that they will be faced with as, an, uh, as a young adult. And what we want to do is educate them on the different elements so that they're you know well informed when they go to make their decisions. Nowadays we know that kids don't want to be told what to do, what not to do. You know it's bad, they want to know why. So we educate them as to what things are you know the consequences of certain actions and you know get them to understand that for every action you do or every decision you make there is a consequence so it's up to you to you know make the right choices and of course finally remember to tune into Radio K Man's Talk Today show that's weekdays from 12:15 with your host Sterling Dwayne Ebanks and you can still see today's government news update uh, from CIG TV if you missed it you can go to our Facebook and YouTube pages or you can watch the rebroadcast throughout the night. And that ends today's CIG TV News Update with Donna Bush. Of course, thanks for watching. See you next time.